So guys, what's going on? So we're just going to jump straight into it. And of course, what we're doing today is just looking at a keyboard cleaning kit. Now, I've seen these things going on uh, TikTok, going viral and all that. And I thought, you know what? I clean keyboards quite often. Let's take a look, see if I can make my life a little bit easier. So why don't we check it out? and we are talking about Windows 10 Pro OEM key. Already an amazing deal because of the autumn big sale. So from this process, all we need to do is platform, region, tags, as well as go to buy now. So we'll click on buy now, it'll then transfer us over to this page. From here, we down the promotions, what we need to do is type in SKJT and click on apply. Reduce your price down from 17 pound and a penny down to 13 pound 61. So from here, all we need to do is go down to submit order. As soon as you've done that, you just select your payment type and of course we'll go from there. So as soon as you've actually bought it and went for the process, you'll be brought to this page. From here, what we need to do is click on the green tab, which says view, view keys and codes. So what you need to do is click on get the key and the middle code is gonna be your activation key. Mine's gonna be blurred out, but yours won't be, so don't worry. So what we need to do is highlight this code, click on Control C, or you can right click and just click copy. Then what we need to do is go over the settings, top left, find in settings, type in activation. Where it says change product key, give that a click. And then where it says product key, just copy and paste, well, just paste your code into there. Mine will be blurred, yours won't be. Do that, click on next. So there we go, Windows has checked it and you are now ready to activate it. Just click on activate and you are pretty much good to go. Yeah, so not the longest video in the world, but of course, we're just going to take a look at it, see what it's all about. So this is supposed to be the ultimate cleaning kit for your keyboard, but it does say on the website you can use it for some other devices. So we do have this little candy dandy cap removal. So this is just going to remove in the keycaps, make it a little bit easier. You get it with pretty much nearly all like gaming keyboards that come with like removable keys or switches. So they tend to give you this in the box. And we do get this little brush, but it's not as simple as that. The handle does actually come off. So we do have quite a nice little fiber brush there. It is actually really soft, I have to admit. I was expecting it to be really rough, but it's actually quite nice. And the bristles are long enough just in case you have some really deep keys. So handle itself is fully removable. Don't really need that at the moment, but we also have the head itself. Now the head itself has two sides. We have this long, more like soft bristle, br bristle brush. And then we have a gap and in the side here, we do have a smaller one as well as what looks like a fountain tip pen. Don't know if I can get a little closer by that. A little fountain tip pen going on that side with the little brush. And then we also have the softer bit there as well. So what you can actually do with this is just click it in so you have like a little bit of a an extended, an extra handle so you know what you're doing. The one thing I'd use this for is probably headphones because obviously you know it doesn't matter how clean your ear get. When you wear headphones for a long period of time, they tend to get a little bit dirty. But I have to admit, quite a cool little bit of kit. That is a little bit dusty at the moment. And we're going to see what we can do. So, on my NQ. So we've we'll got here. So first of all, little brush. Okay. Yeah, it's a brush. It's it's going to do what it's going to do. It's a brush. But what happens if you can't get into the little nicky bits? Keycap remover here. We're going to take off the arrow keys. And this is a low profile keyboard as well. So the keys are a little bit trickier to get out. Well, not massively, they do a pretty good job. Um, actually, no, never mind, they do a really good job. So, keycap remover definitely works. So what you can do from this point is obviously clean that up. But if you have some like coarse dirt, which I can see, what we can do is flip that around to the little pen and just get in between each one of those switches. Uh, yeah. Fair enough, it does actually work. I don't really want to press down too hard on this one because it is a metal metal keyboard, so like a metal case, like an alloy going around it. And then fair enough, you can do that, swap it back over into the little brush and then just clean in between them. Fair enough, I can see where all the hype is about. I guess it does work. I guess instead of using like the traditional size, like just using like a paintbrush or something, like what I normally do. I suppose it does work. It does like, everything that it does say on the tin. It does come with quite a cool little handy keycap remover, which does just slot in like that. And there you go. So, <laughs> I just wanted to see if it was or what it was, because people have been telling me to buy one, and I wasn't really sure whether it was going to be worth it or not. But fair enough for the little amount of money you can spend. It is quite a cool little bit of kit. Apart from that, it always falls off. Well, you could do that, I suppose, so it doesn't fall off. So... 
if you want to go check one out, just a little quick video. If you want to go check one out, links are all in the video description. Enjoy um, and keep your keyboards as clean as possible. But by all means, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any further videos. And as always, have a great keyboard cleaning day.